In this video, we'll see something more about the modules, like how do we cut, copy, paste. Also, we'll see how to add the comments, links, and also filter by tags, filter by views, and so on. So let us see that one by one. Now, first thing is I'll go to the modules part and I'll open any one module here. So how do I open a model? I'll just click on this place and the model gets open here. Now, when I just scroll down, that's the model which is given here. Now, if I want to cut, copy, paste, it's very simple. Cut, copy, paste any artifact. So I can just select those artifacts like this. Okay. And I can just right click on that place. So I have the option as cut, copy, paste. You see all this place, cut to artifacts, copy to artifacts, paste artifacts or remove artifacts. I'll just take an example of copy, paste. So I'll just copy to artifacts. And now I'll select at this place because that copied artifacts I want to paste here. So I can just click on this pencil button and I can see as paste six artifacts after. So if I click on this paste six artifacts, the total six artifacts will be pasted here. So maybe there are two more selected at the bottom. So this way you can just cut copy paste. There are some more few options which are same like in the artifacts which you have seen. The options which I'm trying to say is if you click on this place, these are the options like other actions. You can download the artifacts in a CSV or XLS format this way. You can export to artifacts. You can get the same options, same what we have seen in the artifacts. Also, you can see here the options like you can add a link to two artifacts. That means you can give a relationship, child of, parent of, anything. And also you can get a link of those two artifacts. So in case if you want to copy paste the link, you can send that link itself. Rest is if I click on this other actions, there is something as select tags for two artifacts. If you want to give some tags to two artifacts, you can just click on this select tags for two artifacts. You can select some name or any name which you have given and you can click on OK. So this two artifacts will be having the name as for one as a tag given here, right? Rest most of the options which you observe here, editing the overview about the artifacts like this one. If you just click on this edit part, the artifact uh, attributes will be changed here for the entire module, not for one or two artifacts, but for the entire module here. So you can change all the artifacts uh, attributes here. Similarly, if you click on this model comments, it is the same. You can just click on this drop down, click on create com uh, comments for the module and the same comments will be displayed in the dashboard itself. Same again, you have that something as known as links. Suppose this module you want to connect with some other modules or you want to say this module is a child of some other module. So you can just click on this option and you can give the relationship of that. Here, what is the difference? Here you're giving uh, artifact link, a small artifact link, whereas this one you're giving a link to the entire module itself. So if you observe here, if you observe here, that is known as model comments, model links and uh, where model used. But if you select any one of them, let's say I've selected one of the option here, one artifact. Now I can go to this place and say selected artifact. What should I do with the selected artifact? So with that selected artifact, I can just do this, all the options, artifact comments, artifact links, where artifacts are used. So you uh, get the option as you don't have to open the new artifact and then modify that. Here itself, you can see that option as selected artifact, click on edit and you can modify everything. Rest, there are a few options which we have seen earlier. Like if you want to filter the attributes, uh, filter the artifacts with respect to attributes, you can use these options. Like for example, I'll take an example here. I want to filter all the attributes which are of artifact type as features. So I can find out from here. I'll click on this add filter, artifact type, and I can say as feature and click on add and close. So I'll get only those artifacts which are, which are of the artifact type as features. So this way, it's nothing different here. The, everything is same. Next is filter by tag. Again, the same options are given here with the artifacts. And the last one I have views. There are few changes made in the views. Suppose you want to see only the headings of all the artifacts, all the artifacts which are heading. You can select here as module heading outline. So you'll get only those uh, uh, artifacts which are of heading type. If you click on this model heading and guidance, it will give you those artifacts which are of model heading and also for the guidance part. Similarly, there's model content only. So you'll get only the contents, you'll not get the heading part and all. So here I've got only the contents, but I need to remove the filter from here. Yeah. Now if I click on this model content only, so this is all the model contents which is displayed. So these are nothing but the views, the names are changed. You can create your own view by just clicking on this plus sign. So once you click on the plus sign, that's the same thing what we have seen in the views in the artifacts. No changes here. Just thing is, why? what is the difference is, module is nothing but collection of all the artifacts. 
nothing but you have the same options which are available like for filter and for modifying the attributes comments links everything so i hope you have understood how to work on advanced features of the model artifacts that's all for this video